Damon, we just met our pets of the week. Two total cuties that mm -hmm. have stolen my heart per usual, but yes. I know I'm excited to get home to my little cutie and take them for a walk. It is perfect dog walking weather outside. I'm looking at the sky cam. Can't wait to get out there. Not a cloud in the sky. It's beautiful for just downright anything out really? there today as we uh, get to enjoy this crazy weather that just keeps the roller on. Coaster. Roll oh my <laughs> goodness. Yes, yeah, Saturday was so windy and it was also getting on the cold side. And now look at us just two days later. And here we are, lots of sunshine and plenty of warmth. That temperature is up to 56 degrees right now in Hagerstown. And keep in mind, the high temp yesterday across most of the area was anywhere between 40 to 45 degrees. So we have already made quite the significant jump. And there is a good look at it here. Many locations have already climbed into the 60s. Leesburg, Germantown, Charlestown have all hit that 60 degree mark. And then as you look across the rest of the area, 50s across the rest of Northern Virginia, back toward the Eastern Panhandle, Western and Central Maryland. So it's just been a fantastic start to the day and the colors can't even keep up on the 24 hour temperature change map. We're already eclipsing 25 degrees warmer than just 24 hours ago. So again, this is quite a beautiful day, but why the all the sudden change? Well, we have plenty of sunshine that always helps. There's been very little cloud cover as we've rolled throughout the first half of the day today. But on top of that, I mentioned it earlier. We're in a transition zone, if you will. High pressure is pretty much well off to our east now, and the next storm system is building back off to the west. So because we're right in between those two features, we're bringing back some southerly wind here. And we're awaiting the arrival of that next batch of precipitation, which will already be getting here by tomorrow. So soak this up today. It is going to be short lived that we have this beautiful day. The rest of this Monday. It's the choice day to get outside and do whatever you'd like, because then it's going to be a very active and soggy rest of the week. Rainfall tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. And on top of that, we're watching the possibility of freezing rain mixing in a little bit on Thursday as temperatures go back down. We'll talk about that in a second here, but as far as it goes for the next couple of days, future tracker is going to stay very quiet the rest of this afternoon and evening. You'll only notice those high clouds starting to return and then later tonight it gets completely overcast as we head off into Tuesday morning. Now we are going to stay dry for your early commute tomorrow, getting back to work and school for many of us, but by the late morning to early afternoon, the first wave of rainfall with this system is going to move in. It's not going to be a downright soaker all day long tomorrow. We are going to catch some dry time like in the late afternoon to early evening, but rounds of additional rain showers will continue to be in the forecast as we go through your Tuesday night and off into Wednesday morning as this again fairly active pattern does stick with us for the first half of the week and beyond. But as far as those temperatures are concerned, we warmed up and we're here to stay now for the next few days as well. That's why that precipitation is falling is just rain will be in the middle 60s as we head through the rest of this afternoon with clouds on the uptick later tonight. We will drop down into the 40s and 50s, but then that's it. We're mostly going to stay in the 40s for the rest of your Monday night going into Tuesday morning. And even despite the cloud cover and rainfall, a pretty strong southerly wind is going to continue to be in place on your Tuesday afternoon. And while we may stay mostly in the upper 50s, it's, we're only going to fall a few degrees short of what we experience out there today. So it is still going to be downright beautiful. But then on Wednesday, once the rainfall ends, that's when a cold front moves through and those temperatures drop. Highs will only be in the 30s on Thursday, so that's why we have to watch out for the possibility of some wintry precip mixing in. But then we warm up briefly again. We wrap up as just rain on Friday and the next weekend coming up here. We'll have some drier conditions back in play.